Hey everybody, welcome to Yellow Zone. This is the yellow zone in our action plan. So we're talking about asthma action plan and we're in the yellow zone. So in the other one before we were in our green zone and we were doing happy, smiley, doing well. Now we're doing okay, so, so, but guess what? In the yellow zone, and once again, you can get this at bloommetahealth.com. These forms are free. Uh, we'll let you know when they're available. Just check us out soon. Um, but right here, now you'll notice what's happening is you're coughing a little bit, you're wheezing, your chest is tight, you're having difficulty a little bit. So you're starting to use your rescue inhaler, your albuterol, your uh, Zopinex, you, you're using your rescue medications. And once we're starting using it, and if you, and we have a rule of twos too. If you're using your rescue medication at least two times a week or more, it's time to call your doctor because the rescue medication is not meant to be a maintenance medication. That's a big key right there. It's not meant to be a maintenance medication. In other words, you shouldn't be grabbing your albuterol, Zopinex, or the and, uh, bronco, bronchodilators every single day. You, that's why you need to talk to your physician. Now, if you're using your quick relief inhaler, and, and, and I'm talking not exercise. Exercise doesn't count. If you're exercising and you're pre-medicating to prevent any kind of asthma-induced exercise issue, Okay, but if you're using it because you're having difficulty breathing, coughing, and all these symptoms right here are showing their ugly head, we don't want that. Now, we do, I do always tell everyone, you know what this was for in the other videos, your peak flow. So I'm gonna do a peak flow, I'm gonna blow my best, my peak best was 700, but right now we'll go with six because the math is easy. We're gonna be below 80%. So I'm gonna give it a good quick blow. And there you go. Usually it's a big deep breath and let it out, but we're not doing peak flows right now. We're just doing that. And see, it's in the yellow zone. See here between green and yellow. So we are in that area. So now I know that if I take the medication once in a week and I feel better and I'm okay, and I didn't have to do it again and again and again and again, then uh, I'm in the yellow zone. If I'm entering out of the yellow zone and I'm not in that zone, then that's what you do. But contact your doctor once you are in the yellow zone. See you later for the next one. Tune in for the red zone.